So up to now, we've learned that keywords really are at the heart of SEO. It's what we're going to optimize on our on our site. We're going to put these keywords in the in the specific locations on our page, and then we're also going to build authority around these keywords. We're going to try and attract links back from different sites around the internet, and we're going to have these keywords in the links. So it really is, you know, at, at the heart of, of SEO. What you've got to remember, though, is that when you pick a keyword, you're essentially picking a fight. So, um, you know, for example, if you pick a keyword shoes, you could be going up against some of the biggest retailers in the world with million dollar budgets and teams of people working on SEO. So that's not a fight that you're going to win. You're not going to get on the first page of Google for a keyword as specific as that. So you've got to be smart. You've got to have a strategy. And that's really what keyword research is about. It's it's going out and looking for things that your competitors have overlooked and, and finding little gems that have good volume but are not that competitive. And that's really the name of the game. So if I've said that you're not going to be able to rank and get to the first page for a specific term like shoes, what are you going to be able to get to the first page of Google for? Um, so to help explain that, I'm going to talk about three types of keywords and um, two of these types of keywords are the ones we're really going to be focusing on. So first type of keyword is the head keyword and as we've said, this is a specific one word phrase, huge amount of search volume for that and competition, um, but usually the conversion rate is, is pretty low. Um, the reason is because uh, if somebody types in something like shoes into Google, it's not clear whether they're, if they want men's shoes, women's shoes, kids' shoes, brown shoes, black shoes, you know, there's just, um, it's not clear what their intention is. So although there's huge amount of volume and competition, the uh, the conversion rates are, are not that good. Anyway, we're probably never going to be able to rank for something like that. So what we want to focus on are keywords called body keywords. And in the graph, this is, you know, the body part of the graph. Usually these are two to three word phrases, something like men's shoes. And um, not as much search volume, but um, a lower amount of competition and probably a higher probability of conversion because um, it's more specific than shoes. It's more clear what their intention is. And um, if that, that keyword's on your page, then more, a higher chance that they're going to convert. So the final type of um, keywords and keywords that we want to look at as well are long tail keywords. So the long tail is the long tail of the graph here, not as much volume, a lot of very, you know, individual searches, um, but they make up, you know, 60 to 70% of the total searches um, for that particular niche. So what we want to do is target the less competitive body and long tail keywords. And we can do that either as a single term or we can try and get a portfolio of keywords. So you might be able to rank number one for five or 10 different keywords. And uh, the volume individually could be small, but as a whole, that could even outweigh the search volume for the most competitive terms. So those are really the, the strategies that we're going after in terms of our whole SEO strategy and the keywords that we want to look for in our keyword research.